Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm making a video based off of your guys' response to a poll that I put on my channel. So I gave you guys a few options to select from. The majority is deciding to do a sunrise profile. Now I just wanna mention that about seven months ago, a user named Drizzy had actually mentioned that I should make a sunrise profile. And at the time, I thought that was a great idea, but I had forgotten since then. And about a week ago, another viewer commented on one of my videos and just said sunrise profile, and it just kind of reminded me of that. So that's what made me decide to put that idea into the voting poll, and you guys just kind of ran away with that one. This design actually has a couple unique features using a ripple effect as well as an audio meter effect. With the ripple effect, what I did is I created my very first vertical line ripple effect that I've ever put on any chroma profile. And what I did with the audio meter is that on the F keys themselves, as audio increases, you get that visual effect going from the center of your keyboard outward, bonding to your audio. Keep watching this video as I'm going to show you how I created this profile. As always, in the description below, there will be a download link for this profile where you can go to my website and download it and have it on your keyboard as well. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way you guys are notified when I upload new keyboard lighting designs. We're gonna get right into how I made it. This is Sunrise. First thing you wanna do is apply a dark blue colored static effect layer over all of your keyboard lighting options. My second layer, I added a starlight layer and I just added some a white starlight effect over all of my available keys. Here you can see my properties, just a one density and fast lighting. And I did this to kind of make it look like twinkling starlights in a sky. So with these two layers, I created a nighttime backdrop, basically. Moving on to the third layer, this is where the whole sunrise was created. Um, it's this wave layer here. So with this third wave effect layer, here are my properties that I used. I used a four speed, 400 width, no pause, angle up at zero, because it's rising. And with the color gradient, this is what I did. So looking up here, you can see, if you don't know, wave patterns start from the right side and they go to the left. So what you see first in the wave is on the right of the gradient and what you see last is on the left. So what I started with was an invisible node over here on the right and what this does is it reveals the nighttime with the twinkling lights and it slowly fades into the yellow and in the center of my keyboard I have some white which represents my sun and some more yellow that fades into a daylight color. And as I progress outward away from the center of my keyboard you can see here you can see if I zoom on my keys I slowly get a little bit darker like right next to my center, I have a darker yellow. You can see there's quite a, quite a big difference here between my yellows. And as I get further away from my center, you can see I'm getting darker and even farther away, I'm actually even getting rid of the white. So it keeps getting darker, the yellow gets smaller as I go away from the center of my keyboard. So you can see I started with this line at being my brightest. This grouping is my next brightest and I just slowly get darker as I move away from the keyboard, just like that. What I did with all my peripheral lighting is I copied one of these effects over here and I just applied this one color across all of my additional lighting. With this chroma profile design, I also made two different types of ripple effects that you can use. You'll want to make sure that one is hidden and the other 
is unhidden if you want to use them. So I have a horizontal line ripple and a vertical ripple. So with the horizontal line ripple, what I did is I made a multicolored pattern as you can see up here. It's just this wave effect pattern with multiple colors. And I slid everything over to the left. Otherwise you won't get to see all the colors in your ripple effect. It will be too spread out and you won't actually get to see the colors that are at the end of your ripple. So you can see each line is unique. So even though they all look the same, you can see up here in the top right, they all look like they're the same color. They're actually a little bit different by changing the hex code between each line by one value. With the vertical line ripple, I basically did the same exact thing, except I tried to do vertical lines as best I could across my keyboard. So same thing, you see all my nodes are set up the same as the horizontal one. Just moving from left to right on the keyboard, I went in and I changed the hex value on each vertical line. I also applied an audio meter effect to this chroma profile. And what this audio meter does is the louder the volume gets for your music, the more it goes from the center to the outside of your keys. To create this audio meter effect, what I did is I selected this whole entire top row, just like this. And then I went into the color gradient and I made all of these keys look just like this. So an invisible node with a little bit of white space on the right. And then I held control and I deselected the outside keys. And then I took that little bit of white space and I just made it a little bit bigger and moved it to the left. And then I did the same thing. I held control, deselected the outsides and kept moving it down. So each time you moved in, you would make this white space a little bit bigger, just like you see here. So at really low volumes, what you get is you start to see the white space earlier. And as you move farther out, it takes a little bit louder of a volume of audio to activate that white color. And that is all you have to do to create this sunrise profile. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think you have a really cool idea that you'd like to see on a Razer keyboard, please leave a comment in the description below. Or you can contact me on my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and I even stream on Twitch every once in a while. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.